जय हिंद आई एम एक्सट्रीमली हैप्पी टू बी विद दिस प्रोग्राम इनफैक्ट आई वॉन्टेड टू बी देयर पर्सनली बट ड्यू टू अनअवॉर्डेबल सर्कमस्टांसिस आई कुंट बी देयर लॉस इज माइंड एंड आई एम सो हैप्पी दैट दिस प्रोग्राम इज बींग ऑर्गेनाइज बाई ए प्रेस्टिजियस आई आई एम यू एन दैट इज इंडिया इंटरनेशनल मूवमेंट टू यूनाइट द नेशंस द वर्ल्ड यूनाइट इट सेल्फ इज सो ग्रेट इट इज सो इंटरग्रेटिव एंड आई एम थ्रिल्ड अबाउट दिस सब्जेक्ट एंड द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन आई एम इंडीड थैंकफुल दैट आई हैव दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी टू बी विद यू एंड ऑल दो इट इज डिजिटली uh it would have been uh, a pleasure to be there i was looking forward uh, to interacting personally there physically uh, with such a vibrant and youthful audience but uh, unfortunately it is on digitally but uh, i'm going to enjoy this interaction with each one of you i'm told that uh, iimun is a youth organization and in this word youth why you you is most important aspect and that is what it thrills me this organization comprises over 26000 young organizers who put together student conference in 220 cities that's thrilling and in 35 countries in fact this organization has worked with over 7500 schools that's a beautiful spectrum impacting almost 10 million students that's a big area for the impact and these school students have been made aware about the international relation current affairs and the world politics with a mission to unite the world the indian way the organization is doing a fine and a great service to not just instilling pride about india but exporting the best practices of our nation internationally i'm told that many of you will be discussing issues regarding women's education over the next few days i couldn't be happier to hear that i congratulate india's international movement to unite nations on bringing young people to discuss issues across uh, different fields but more importantly it is also heartwarming to see young people put together events that empower other young people that's a great movement by itself women education and empowerment has been one of the most talked of subject in past few decades no doubt we have traveled a lot since old times when women were subjected to lot of atrocity and discrimination but still i feel we have a way to go today we are talking about empowering the women who herself is an epitome of shakti what an irony who can empower the shakti the power but yes we need to remind our daughters our sisters that they are shakti themselves we have to evoke that self worth i think that is important when i say shakti the power i don't intend mere physical power but i mean the mental spiritual cosmic power all combined the same time into one in ancient india status of women was of equal to their men counterpart in every field of life we read about apala gargi matri lupa mudra these all were extremely intelligent and visionary women they were our pride who took part in assemblies and educational congregations lupa mudra was even credited to have composed couple of verses in rigveda i think that's a significant contribution in our indian culture 
there's a concept of earth nareshwar mahadev the combination of shiva and shakti which means for the mother nature men and women are equal in fact uh, in the medieval times due to attacks from the foreigners moguls and the britishers that we had and due due to onset of some mal practices the status of women got down it slided down the most common form of this discrimination was to deprive them of education which is a fundamental right in recent centuries most of the social reform movement started and centered around the women education that was significant guru nanak dev ji said and i quote so kyu manda aakhiye jin jab mein raja it is by the women that the entire social order is maintained then why call her bad from her kings were and are born swami vivekanand ji said and i quote women problems can be many but solved by that one magic word education unquote an old saying goes like this if you educate a man you educate one person but if you educate a woman you are able to educate the whole family according to 2011 census data national literacy rate is uh, or was 74% approximately out of which men 82% and women 65.4% Uttarakhand female literacy rate is 70.7 percent. Year 2002's 86 constitutional amendment was indeed a game changer, which gave right to education to all children in the bracket of 6 to 14 years. This gave girl-child education a big boost. I'm a firm believer that young girls must be educated and empowered. to build a independent future for themselves a good education creates a domino effect in one's life once you are educated you are you can get stable and secure work when you have stable work you are able to remain financially independent which is important when you are financially and economically independent you are empowered to make your own choices and decisions we need to think how we can prevent girl child school dropout i think that's a challenge how to ensure an unhindered education to our girls how to help poor girl save them from any illegal activities and crime like human trafficking human trafficking really pains me these are big questions and as a society it is our collective responsibility to solve this problem and we will do it our own state has been global example of women activism the chipko movement you would recall was led by gauri devi ji she remains one of the most prominent example of women who have stepped up for what they believed in and for their home as a governor of uttarakhand i have visited many forward areas forward districts i witnessed working of women in different fields of life i must say women of uttarakhand are the real backbone of this state they are strong and determined force working in various areas independently or through self help groups i'm very impressed with self help groups which are led participated by the women in the state as far as i see the meaning of real empowerment is to be unrestricted to be unlimited i would like to repeat these two words unrestricted and unlimited please note these two words in your mind unrestricted and unlimited to be able to participate in every field of life whether it's armed forces space research medicine or art literature sport i mean every form and field of life activity must be participated by women they must go far 
they must go for their passions it is important women can come in any field and whether it's a manufacturing sector supply chain in the starts up startups it can be intelligence uh, artificial intelligence smart engineering our girls must get admission into sunny schools nda they must aspire to become ias ips and to choose other roles in civil services my adc who is sitting next to me is a model for each one of you she is the superintendent police sp rank officer and the ips officer in fact she is a model for you to emulate and to join the police service civil service or whatever field that you want to join last couple of covid years have given us an opportunity to explore new fields and technology noticeably work from home is a real find of the covid time this work from home phenomena is actually a blessing to each one of us and especially for women you know we always saw women in the stereotyped as housewife or mother since time immemorial they were denied the equal opportunities not through this online working online has been a great change they can take new jobs and other works for themselves i'm further told that the students who take part in iimun are also required to fulfill one of the three actionable goals it's good to have goals and mission and that three are to either educate or feed the underprivileged or plant a tree to combat the climate change incidentally today is the earth day i think each one of you should take the pride in planting a tree today initiative like this gives you the young people a chance to do something tangible for the society the society that we all live in i congratulate uh, iimun on completing 10 years of impacting the youth of the world and i wish each one of you many more years of uniting the world the indian way my sincere thanks to vice president mr prashant nagpal ji uh, my great appreciation to charge the affairs of today's chapter kashipur chapter vishakha sharma ji and i was so happy when she came to invite me it was great for me to interact it was great for me to realize what power each one of you is having in your own self my compliments for having organized this program my compliments for getting the youth together i think we need to introspect we need to look inward into ourselves and one word which i have liked immensely today is the word uniting in fact integrating uniting cooperation collaboration jointness this is what is required to be done and it's so thrilling when one of you or each one of you decide to take the step and unite people on thought ideas and perception i think we are already into the game of transformation change so it's important for us to realize the power of women empowerment the power of girl child welfare the power of education in fact uh, i'm feeling exceedingly happy that uh, i had an opportunity to interact with you opportunity to talk to you opportunity to share some ideas with you thank you so much i enjoyed every minute of it and i wish you all the best jai hind